What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're doing something we haven't done in a while. We have not looked at a drone in a minute. Today we've got the Plank, it's the H70 Mini Ultra Thin Remote Control Quadcopter by JJRC. Now, I can't remember if we looked at a JJRC in the past, I think we did, but it's only 19 bucks. As of recording this video, it's only $19. Ooh, yeah, that's cool looking. I already like it. Look how thin that is. Oh, that is cool. Now, it's only 1.2 centimeters thick. It does take three AAA batteries for the controller, and wow, that looks like an old Sega Genesis controller. That is so cool. So that takes three AAA batteries. I'm gonna have to get some batteries now. We've got an instruction manual, additional notes, non-function. So this button right here has zero function. These two have zero function as well. Okay, most of these companies, they don't even say anything, it's just, you got some buttons that are there for no reason. But at least they were nice enough to put a little slip in saying, hey, these ones aren't functional. I'll give them props for that. And then we got that. All right. So we got a little screwdriver. We got a USB to micro USB for charging the drone itself. And then we've got four extra blades or four extra propellers. All right, so as you can see, the blades are all down, but I believe somehow there's a button, I think where it pops out, but right here, you pull this, and that is your 350 milliamp hour battery. Now, it fully charges in about 50 minutes, and you only get about five to six minutes of flight time, but for something so small, not surprised. The remote distance on this is 40 meters. It does have a headless mode. It does have a one button return, which we've seen that before in these cheaper quadcopters before, and I never really, they never really did anything. They just kind of flew around. I'm gonna try the one key return. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, stop. Where are you? Stop. 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 Hopefully this one works, we'll find out. There's a barometer sensor in this, so uh, there's an altitude hold, so once you get it up to a certain altitude, you can just leave it there and it should stay floating. Okay, so right now they're all flat, so that way you can store it. Everything snaps in place, so it's nice and flat, but then as soon as you hit these two buttons right here, boop, they all, they all go vertical. That one did not, is that stuck? There we go. So there we go, and now it's ready to fly. Now it looks like it has a little LED headlight on it and you've got the power button. So these batteries are on. Oh, what just happened? Are you paired? One key start, propeller start, toggle the throttle joystick to control the drone. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, Oh. So smooth, wow, easy, easy. There we go, oh yeah, nice. Hey, this is smooth, this is probably one of the smoothest takeoffs I've had ever. Stop, there we go, okay cool, wow, that was very responsive. Okay, I need to learn these controls real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I got it on the highest setting. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, this is controlling pretty nicely though. Wait, wait, come back. I don't know where you are. Come back. Crap. Where are you? Wow. Look at that thing. Hey, that's cool. So you hit that button and it just goes down. It just lands. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see if this return to home thing even works. Ah, it's in my face. Return to home. Where are you going? You see what I'm saying? Stop. Stop it! Stop! That's not home. You see what I'm saying? I, you know, I don't... Uh... Okay, watch. I'm gonna hit return to home. I'm gonna hit the button. Ready? Here we go. Let me go down a little bit. Now. Good job. So maybe, okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong when it comes to the return to home feature. Um, if anybody out there has seen my videos and know that this is a reoccurring issue I have, and you know what the answer is, and I'm just doing something wrong, let me know down in the comments below. Try to keep it nice, okay? But let's try it again. Where are you going? I'm not even pushing anything. <laughs> what? Come here. I think it was still in the uh, find your way home thing. No, ow, ow. <laughs> You're gonna do it again, aren't you? Where are you going? Okay. There we go. All right. 
All right, so it says that if you take, you put it at a certain height and then it will just hover there. It's going down. Oh, it's going back up. It's still moving around. It's not really staying in the same position, but it's, it's hovering. All right, I'm gonna let this thing charge up a little bit and then uh, we're gonna take it outside and see how Mocha likes it. Get him, Olga. Get him, Olga. Yeah, get him, Olga. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> High five. High five. Yeah, good girl. Uh, other than the finicky controls, it's a little odd from time to time. Like whenever you connect and then you hit the takeoff button, it wants to go really fast for some reason. So you got to unpair and then repair it. Not a fan of that, but once it's up and going, it, it runs pretty fine. And it's dog approved, apparently. She really, really wants to keep playing. For like 18 bucks, it's actually not bad. I like the design of it. It's gonna be real fun playing with it in the house. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here. You want you want to go get it? All right, let's go. Get it, Mocha! Oh! <laughs> she knows it's gonna hurt if she bites it. <laughs> she doesn't want to. Get it, Mocha! Get it! The battery completely dead? Yeah, it's dead, dead. I'll have to let it charge up. Get out! I'm gonna let this thing charge up a little bit.